Hello, welcome to Clarity 16.2.3 Feature Supportability Training. I am Santosh Panchali and I am a Product Manager of Clarity. In this session, we will review the new skills management functionality added to the Clarity Modern UX. So, what's new in this release? Administrators can now create and manage a skills inventory that can be used to associate resources including roles and teams with their respective skills. Resource managers can leverage the skills library to align resources, including roles and teams with one or more of their skills. And why is this important? Investments typically have demand for resources with certain skills to work on them. We all know that resources have skills. However, prior to this release, in modern UX, neither there was a way to have a skills library nor a way to associate skills to resources. This feature fills that important gap by providing administrators with ability to manage a skills inventory and resource managers to leverage that skills inventory to associate skills to the resources. Let's see how all this works in action through a demonstration. I am logged into Clarity as Ian, who is the administrator. A new skill style is added to the administration workspace in Modern UX. Ian is granted with a new right, Administration Skills Navigate, due to which he has access to this style. Clicking on the skill style brings up skills in a standard grid format. The grid supports all the capabilities of a standard grid like filtering, views, column panel, sorting, grouping, etc. including but not limited to import from and export to CSV. Administrators can manage the skills from this grid like adding new skills to the inventory, updating and deleting skills as needed. Let's add a new skill to the library, say Docker. As you can see, the skill is added. Administrator can also update the details of a skill from here. Let's update the description of this so that it is more descriptive, like this. And the skill is updated. And if needed, a skill can be deleted from here. Let's delete the skill that we added. As you can see, it's deleted. Note that skill is available as a new object in Studio of Classic Administration and any customizations like adding custom attributes can be performed from here and the object is audit enabled. It is also made available in Administration Attributes workspace in Modern UX, thus allowing its attributes to be secured relabeled and configured with tooltip information. Another important point to note here is that the skill object and skills functionality is net new in modern UX and is different from the one available in classic. Administrators can configure the skills module available to the end users on the resource details page by configuring it as a module through resource blueprint. Now that we have a skills library, let's see how this can be leveraged in the application by resource managers. I am logged in as Ray, who is a resource manager. I am on the resources grid and when I navigate to the details page of say, Cheryl Amos, I can see the new skills tab as configured by the administrator. Association of skills to a resource can be managed, that is added or removed from here. Like this, to associate a new skill, and either like this, or like this, 
to deassociate any existing skills. As you would expect, the grid is read-only otherwise, that is, details of the skills themselves cannot be edited from here. In addition, skills of a resource can be viewed and managed even from the resources grid and also the roles and teams grids with the new skills MVL attribute that can be configured as a column. The skills are displayed here as colored badges. Note that the colors are just for visual distinction and does not have any further significance like a color being permanently associated to a particular skill. I can add more skills from here. As well as remove any skills from here. What all of this means is that in use cases like staffing investments with resources with the necessary skills, I can use that as my criteria like this to identify resources having those skills. This enables effective staffing. And the fact that skills attribute is available on resource object means that it will be available in other workspaces that leverage resource object like staffing workspace, hierarchy staff module, investment st staff module that we've just seen, etc. That concludes the session on skills management in modern UX. Thank you.